Hi guys, Frank here from Bill Drone, and this is my 2005 Volkswagen New Beetle GLS Turbo. Now, here's the thing, I'm not really a Beetle guy, okay? What makes this car cool for me is two things, all right? I'm gonna show you those two things. First thing is the five-speed manual transmission. It had been a long time since I had a manual transmission car and I had been wanting one. So a manual gearbox, super appealing to me. And the other thing that's appealing to me about this 2005 Volkswagen New Beetle Turbo is this 1.8 liter turbo engine. Now this 1.8 liter turbo engine is used extensively throughout many Volkswagen uh, products as well as Audi. And so in this video, we're gonna talk about the engine specifications for the 1.8 liter turbo, uh, 1.8 T Volkswagen Audi four cylinder engine. Or I guess I should say in this video, we're gonna go over the engine specifications for a 1.8 T Volkswagen and Audi four cylinder and all the uh, different applications that uh, this motor was available. And we're gonna cover some pretty interesting things that I discovered about this engine. The reason why I even went down this path uh, and, and even came across this information is because, well, I'm thinking about doing some upgrades on this uh, motor. This particular, in this application, this 1.8T makes 150 horsepower and 162 pound-feet of torque. Now, they did make a Beetle Turbo S. This one is just a turbo, but they did make a turbo S, and the turbo S got the same 1.8 liter turbo engine, but in that trim, it made 180 horsepower and I think 173 pound-feet of torque, and with the S, they actually gave the car, the uh, it got a six-speed manual gearbox, and it got way better seats, way better seats. I wouldn't mind getting a hold of a Beetle Turbo S actually. Okay, so real quick before we actually get into this uh, engine specifications for the 1.8T Volkswagen and Audi four cylinder, uh, I just wanna remind you that, you know what? I've done a lot of different videos for this particular uh, Volkswagen Beetle, and I'm gonna go ahead and put the playlist down in the link or down in the description below. So if you're interested in checking out some of the videos that I've done for this car, like I just put some octane boost in this thing over the weekend and I took a, and I did a video review of that. Well, check out that link in the description below after you watch this video. Honestly, it's no exaggeration to say that the Volkswagen 1.8 liter turbo was to European turbocharged four cylinders what the Chevrolet small block was to American V8s formerly known as the 1.8 R420VT and informally known simply as the 1.8T, this little powerhouse was launched in 1993 and quickly developed a reputation for huge power levels in stock and especially modified form. Okay, so just a moment ago, I talked about uh, there's a lot of different applications this 1.8T engine has been in. And so right now, let's talk about some of those. So the 1.8T has been used in nearly every four-cylinder Volkswagen Audi application from 1993 to present. These applications include, but are not limited to, the Volkswagen Polo GTI, the Golf Mark IV, the Bora, Jetta, New Beetle S, Passat B5, and so on. Uh, since Audi is VW's luxury brand, the engine also carried over to models in that division, including the A3, A4, A6, and TT Quattro Sport. Other automakers to use the 1.8T have been Spanish manufacturer uh, Seat or Seat and Skoda for their limited edition Octavia VRS. So this engine, super popular. It's been all over the world uh, and it makes, it's, it's a great engine. It really is, I love this engine. Okay, so we covered some of the applications that the 1.8T uh, engine has been in for the Volkswagen slash Audi uh, four cylinder engine. Uh, let's talk about some basic specs, okay? The 1.8T used a cast iron engine block and an aluminum cylinder head with dual overhead camshafts and five valves per cylinder. The engine's actual displacement of 1,781 cc's comes by way of an 81 millimeter bore with an 86 millimeter stroke. Part of this engine's inherent strength comes from its use of a die forged steel crankshaft split forged connecting rods and molly forged pistons 
in some applications. Okay, so we talked about some basic specs. Let's talk about some variations. The 1.8T has come in dozens of different configurations since it was first offered, with power ratings spanning from 150 horsepower at 5,800 RPM, and that's found in most Polos, Golfs, Beetles, and Passats, to 236 horsepower at 5,700 RPM for Audi TT Quattro Sports. One common variation was the North American only 177 horsepower version offered as an upgrade and subsequent replacement for the 150 horsepower version. Okay, let's talk about induction. Aside from its incredibly free breathing head, the 1.8T's main secret weapon is its turbo and induction system. All stock 1.8T's use a Volkswagen source turbocharger, somewhat equivalent to a Garrett T30. The turbo feeds one of the few true variable length intake manifolds on the market today. At low RPM, air flows through a set of long, thin intake runner tubes to enhance low RPM torque and drivability. At high RPM, a flap opens to connect the intake manifold's large open space, which is called a plenum, almost directly to the cylinder head, bypassing the tubes and enhancing top end power. Now, of course, there were racing and specialty versions of this 1.8T. Volkswagen has developed a number of specialized race versions to capitalize on the 1.8T's inherent strength and durability. Engines produced for the Formula Palmer Audi Open Wheel Race Series use a 300 horsepower version with a Garrett T34 Turbo, which has a scramble boost option that allows the driver to bump power up to 360 for short periods of time. Volkswagen also makes a specialized FIA Formula 2, that's the next series down for Formula 1, uh, spec engine producing a sustained 425 horsepower with a 55 horsepower scramble boost capacity. I'm sure I'm just really kind of touching the tip of the iceberg when it comes to the uh, Volkswagen 1.8 uh, turbo engine. But as you can see, this engine is very dynamic, it's very stout, and it's a great platform for building horsepower. So with that said, you know, I'm not sure, maybe I might put an ECU tune on this. I, I was talking in another video that I was really interested. I've seen a few Beetles that have the Porsche wheels and maybe a nice set of Porsche wheels. We'd have to lower it down a little bit. Nice set of Porsche wheels. But yeah, we could bump the horsepower up. I know there's a couple of ECU tunes out here uh, that'll give you 30 horsepower. So that'll bump me up to 180 horsepower, but it'll give me up to 225 pound feet of torque. And honestly, for this car, that's that's plenty that's plenty it's front wheel drive and we don't want too much torque steer and so yeah on that note i'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up on the engine specifications for a 1.8 t volkswagen audi four cylinder if you found this information helpful informative or entertaining please like share and subscribe to my channel other than that i'm going to tell you to have a wonderful day and i will see you on the very next video